Tellurium is a very interesting element that you probably have not heard of. It's eighth or ninth uh, most rare in the Earth's crust, so it's pretty rare. Um, but it actually has uh, some day-to-day -day applications. Um, one, or one day-to-day -day application. One is in um, the DVD rewritable discs. Um, tellurium suboxide is actually used um, to make it rewritable because tellurium suboxide can uh, change the, its reflectivity back and forth between two different uh, reflectivities um, when, just when it's heated. So it's like an on-off switch. Um, so that's, you probably have some tellurium in your house because of that, but that doesn't mean you've ever heard of it. It's still quite an, an exotic element. Tellurium has a very interesting story that's actually related to gold. So apparently, some people were horseback riding through the Australian outback when one of the horses lost its shoe. When they stopped and got off their horses, they discovered that they were in fact in a field full of gold nuggets. They collected a bunch of gold, but being not very smart, they, uh, when they got back into town, they applied for an official claim to the area. Then the area was public, and tons of people started storming in. So eventually, the people started having to dig for gold, and it started getting harder and harder to get gold. Well, um, so people came in that were trying to profit not off the gold, but off there being so many people so far away from what food and water. Anyway, they started building roads, and there was a general store, and it started becoming a little town. And what they were building everything out of was this weird rubble that they were digging up as a byproduct when they were dig when they were digging for the gold. Now, after a while, things got pretty desperate, and people, you know, there weren't enough, uh, there wasn't enough land for people to dig on, and there was there weren't enough, there wasn't enough food and water. After a while, things got so desperate that people actually started to believe these rumors that were circulating that this rubble that they were digging out and building everything out of was ac actually contained some gold. Now, geologists had known about this phenomenon for a long time. Although when you're mining for gold, all you expect to see is pure gold, if you see any gold, because the, the gold will bond to hardly any elements. The only element that gold will actually bond to is tellurium. So, as you can imagine, these miners weren't expecting to see a gold ore. They were expecting to see just pure gold. But after a while, they got so desperate that they, they wanted to try it out on this rubble. Now, even though gold does bond to tellurium, it's still a pretty unstable compound, this, this, uh, and this uh, material is called calvarite. Uh, so the calvarite is still pretty unstable. If you heat it, it'll actually decompose into gold and tellurium. So that's what they did. They heated it up, and it turns out that gold started leaking out of it. And I'm betting that now you want to see some tellurium, and yes, I actually have some tellurium. Um, here is the little, I've got a little uh, ampule of tellurium, and I'm not going to open the ampule and show it to you because um, tellurium, although it's not actually very toxic, um, if it is ingested, it can actually get into your blood and then into your sweat, and you will smell like rotten garlic for weeks, I, or so I've heard. So I'm not going to risk it. And I'm going to leave it in this little ampule, but you can see the beautiful crystals of pure tellurium.